Downtown St. Louis is now Hockey Fan Central. Fanfare is underway tonight for the big and much anticipated NHL All-Star Weekend. Thousands are expected through Sunday at the NHL Fan Fair over at Union Station. And that's where we find News 4's Ray Preston. He's live there right now. Ray, what's going on out there? Well, right now we are at the shoot and score event. The idea is pretty simple. Just go ahead and put the puck into the five hole. You can see a lot of folks taking part in this. This is like just one of the events. There's several like this as well. Also, the uh, Stanley Cup is here. There are several pieces of hockey history on display. And, you know, there's a traveling museum that's also in town this weekend as part of NHL Black Hockey History Tour. What the helmet? Have you ever had a hockey helmet on? Yeah, Hundreds of students from City Academy got the chance today to get a close-up look at hockey history. Having this here um, for them to understand also uh, the impact and the exposure that um, um, athletes of color have had on the NHL is really incredible for them to see so that they can see reflections of themselves in a sport that they may not have otherwise had access to. Who was the first black woman inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame? The game of hockey has always been diverse. It's maybe just not been as inclusive. So black athletes, Hispanic athletes, Asian athletes have always played the game of hockey. It's just the exposure that just hasn't been as great as we'd like it to be. If you said the name Jackie Robinson to most people, they could tell you about the man who broke baseball's color barrier. Who was the first black player in the National Hockey League? The answer is yeah. Willie O'Ree. In 1958, he became the first black athlete to play in the NHL. He did it through a lot of uh, hardships, and he went through a lot, a lot of perseverance through adversity, but he did something that he always dreamed to do and that a lot of young black players were able to do coming forward after him. Today, his sweater proudly hangs in the museum. I like that it, it's still stitched up. Oh, it's old school. It's old school. I mean, this is when they used to call them sweaters, not jerseys. So you'll see the traveling museum around town for the next few days. Tomorrow will be in Ferguson. Saturday, it'll be at Keener Plaza downtown. And on Sunday, it'll be at the Missouri History Museum over in Forest Park. It's free and open to the public, open to all ages. Reporting live from Fanfare in downtown St. Louis, Preston News 4.